Thank you, Chairman, and uh, to commend the Minister for his um, excellent handling of this. Minister, yesterday the Mercy Hospital in Cork, which is a voluntary public and private hospital, were before the High Court where they sought an injunction um, to prevent the publication of personal medical and private data of, of, of patients in the hospital. Um, in my opinion, they shouldn't have had to go alone. Um, they should have been co-joined with the HSE. Can I ask you, in the context of other private uh, and, and, and voluntary hospitals, how stand they now in terms of the, first of all, have there been any random messages left for them? Secondly, how do they stand in terms of the, 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 the data of sensitive data of, of, of patients uh, in their care? Uh, and thirdly, are you aware uh, that of the standards of the HSC regarding other uh, voluntary and public hospitals, not just in Cork, but particularly in Cork, but across the country as well? Mr. Smith. Senator Butterman, thank you. Thank you for your question. So as I understand it, the voluntary hospital is an independent body separate from the HSC, although greatly funded by the HSC. And uh, I think that the, the Mercy Hospital had some systems that were tightly integrated with the HSE systems and that the attack spread into their systems as a result. And I don't think they were specifically targeted. There isn't any indication that the ransom note or anything was any different from that left on all the other HSE systems. The reason I think that they took a separate legal case is because they are a separate legal entity from the HSC. So I think that legally they, they, they were advised that they, they had to get their own injunction to protect their own data. I don't think there's any suggestion that they are particularly, that they are in any way more at risk uh, than, than any other part of the HSC. And there's certainly no information yet that any of their data um, has been leaked or is at risk. The, the, the process that, that the, um, as I understand, the process the HSC is going through at the moment started with um, restoring their central services in their, in their core network their, the, the, their radiology system and their patient administration, and then went out to the to all the different regional hospitals to make sure they all came back online. And uh, and as the service is restored and then the hospital is restored, the two things work together. So I, I think that they're they're making great progress in that regard. Uh, and uh, I don't know if, if Mercy Hospital is entirely back online, but I, what I do know is that the HSC on their website is producing regular reports where you can go into your own county and you can look at that particular hospital and they will tell you which of their services are back yet. So, they, and so there is an indication of that. And, and given the model of healthcare that we have, how stands the other voluntary and community hospitals and, and, and private hospitals that are intertwined with the HSC, which isn't just about funding, but it's about the provision of services. And we've outsourced many different, as you know quite well, aspects of our health service. So how stands other organisations in terms of Will they have to seek an injunction, or are they co-joined and included in the HSC? Because it is important to give to give comfort to people who are concerned this morning uh, about their own privacy and information being put in the public domain. So I, I know that some some hospitals are are virtually untouched. So from talking to the IT staff in St Vincent's Hospital, they they never. Uh, had to stop any of their systems, so they 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 managed to continue, and I I I I can't imagine they're they're going to be joining into any any future injunctions. But it's really a legal question for any of those uh, any of those hospitals. And if you are, I suppose, if they are a, a separate, uh, independent legal body, and if they're finding that they have ransom notes on systems within their within their own uh, physical hospital, then uh, they they may be advised by their lawyers that they need to, to seek a separate injunction. But again, it's it's a legal question really for the hospitals to, to discuss with their counsel. And that applies to all service providers who are Section 38, 39 organisations who have interaction with the HSE? It, it does, yeah, it does. Okay, thank you. And thank you for your work, thank Minister. You.